need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Hey, welcome back. <clears throat> this is uh, a lot cheaper than a card for Valentine's Day, and it could last a lifetime. Card probably won't. Uh, free help from famed marriage counselors Helen LaKelly Hunt and her husband Harville Hendricks. Uh, you talk about something called a safe conversation, and that's what your upcoming seminar is about the day before Valentine's Day. Right. Safe. Yeah, it's a safe conversation experience. And what it means is that we spend time helping people learn how to talk and to listen in a new way so that they create safety so that they can thrive with mm -hmm. each other. Just fundamentally, that's it. Okay, well, let's talk about some of the rules of a safe conversation. So you, you <clears> speak <throat> from the I versus the you. I'm going to ask yeah. you to do that in a minute. Obviously, you listen. Well, I mean, obviously. <laughs> Sometimes we don't, and mirror what your partner says, yeah. and then daily affirmations, little expressions of just, you know, hey, thanks, that was a good cup of coffee this morning. Little stuff like that. What if somebody breaks the rules? And mm, what do you do? We actually have an ouch process or a bing that if our partner says something, uh, we go bing, and we go, could you say that again, but in a way that doesn't feel so bad, uh, and here's how you might say it. Okay. And you model it for your partner, and your partner is likely to do it. Okay, so uh, let, me, let me throw one at you. Um, he goes out and buys two new suits and blows the budget for the month. Right. Yeah, what happens? Yeah, well, uh, bing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, hey, how about planning for the next five months and see how we can balance the budget? Okay. And yeah. people, tend to uh, get frustrated and focus on the frustration. So we teach people to stay out of the victim place and ask for the, what they want. It's right. a new, a new skill set for people. Ask specifically for what you want in a way that will likely engage your partner so, in the conversation. So rather than saying, you blew the budget yeah. again, Harville. Mm -hmm. Right. And well, another thing that could happen with this is that she would get curious about what was going on with me blowing the budget. So to go to curiosity instead of judgment might help her or me, if I were mm -hmm. on the other end of that, understand that something might be going on with her that's really important, especially if this is not typical behavior. We know something is going mm -hmm. on, so we need to talk about that because she may be under some kind of stress or maybe something going on that right. we need to bring out in the open. Uh, is it sometimes better if the conversation is just going south and Bing doesn't quite <laughs> do it? to walk away, to say, you know what, give me a half hour. Absolutely. Yeah. Taking a break is a great idea. It allows your brain to restabilize. Yeah. If you're in your lower brain, if your partner said something and you get reactive and defensive, the lower brain, uh, don't talk at that time. The safe conversation process is very structured. There are sentence stems, and the sentence stems allow you to go to your upper brain. Upper brains create win-wins, but the lower brain is fight or flight. Yeah. So this is what's gonna happen coming mm -hmm. up on Saturday the 13th, and an opportunity to be there. We've got a link on fox4news.com uh, with more information. It, it's at Fair Park, and seven simulcast locations where you can be involved right. as well. So we're looking for about 3,000 people to be tied in that day, and they will all learn how to talk so that their relationship becomes really safe and they can both thrive. And then a lot of the problems we're talking about solving that you were just mentioning actually don't occur when couples feel safe with each other. And then the next day is magically Valentine's. Yes. How's that work out? Thank you guys both very much. Thank and you very uh, much. More information and a link to your new book as well on fox4news.com.